Hello, Sweet Cranberries. Jazz here with the second half of Anthem by Anne Rand. No, I'm not sure which chapters we were supposed to stop at. I just stopped at, a, at the middle. Today, we are going to talk about the second half of Anthem, and it is awesome. So, Equality um, events electricity, and then he gets caught sneaking out late at night when everybody else is supposed to be in the community. Every night they have a party, and it's a lame party. Um, and then they punish him by sending him to the palace of corrective, or punishment, or corrective detention, or whatever the palace is called, is, which is a, a terrible name for a, for a torture palace. And then he's able to escape overnight because um, the, the, the door is so old because nobody actually ever gets punished. Nobody ever gets punished? He runs off, he goes and grabs his electricity, and he's like, I'm gonna show it to the World Council of Scholars because this is electricity and it's awesome. And he ends up showing it off and getting in trouble for it because everybody's really scared about his little box of electricity. And so he takes off and he just starts running and running and running and running. And he doesn't stop. He goes in the forest and he runs away and then actually um, finds happiness all alone in the forest. Liberty, his girlfriend, the Golden One, follows him through the forest. They're sweet together and they run off through the forest and they spend a lot of time in the forest. For several days they're walking and walking and enjoying each other's company. And then they come across this house. These clothes that are all different and cool and then like these books and scrolls and all this writing stuff and like the walls are made of glass. And they're like, whoa, what the crap, this is awesome. He starts reading these books and he's all like, I found the word I. And so he's all like, I am awesome. I found the word I. And I can be alone and still be happy. And so they figured out what happiness is. So the fact that we can be alone and still be happy and we don't have to fit in the mold. And it's kind of, the big message is definitely anti-conformatism. Governments that promote conformity and types of governments that restrict creativity. I love this book because of the message and it's like Through everything you're always gonna find something that makes you happy. So anyway, that's Anthem. Uh, Abby, I will see your opinion of the second half of the book on Wednesday. Sienna, I will see yours on Friday. And then the next book we're gonna be doing will be awesome because it's a surprise and I don't know what it is. Not a surprise, you just won't tell me. It's not that you're not telling me, it's that I forgot. So I will see you on Wednesday.